General Hospital's Mueller teased that Nicholas Casada and Michael Carento would have a secret transaction. Esme maybe will be born smoothly while Willow Tay's baby will die, so Nicholas can agree to let Esme's child be Michael's and Willow's child. Of course, if this deal succeeds, neither of the women, Willow and Esme, will know, and perhaps none of them will know whose ch- whose child the result really is. To begin with. Viewers remember that Willow is suffering from cancer, and the possibility of the baby dying is very high. Willow could not delay his treatment any longer. She may even die if she continued to prolong the treatment pause. Doctor warned Willow to value her own life more than the baby, but Willow never took that seriously. She knew she wouldn't be able to live without her second child. She once lost her first child, trying to keep her away from her father. Unfortunately, her first child passed away. That loss was too great for her to feel bad, and she really didn't want to give birth again. When she fainted too many times and she checked her health, she received the news that she was pregnant. But then she received a shock related to her cancer. Now. Even at the cost of her life, Willow still want to have her baby. Although Doctor Wong's the baby may be born with a disease due to the influence of the mother during pregnancy, but Willow will also ignore that. She just wants the baby to live until birth. Meanwhile, Esme is being held by Nicholas. She will probably go into labor right where she is being held. Coincidentally, the timing of Esme and Willow's labor coincided. Nicholas was able to steal Esme's baby when she fainted from giving birth in a place with poor medical condition. If that's true, then when Esme woke up, she was devastated when Nicholas told them their baby was dead. He thought that the janitor in the warehouse did not have a midwife. And there is no device that makes it difficult for the baby to burst at birth. Nicholas will tell Esme that he has buried the baby's body. Of course, Esme wants to go to her son's grave, and it could be an empty one. In fact, maybe Nicholas doesn't want this baby. He wants to live with Eva Jerome and put Esme in jail. It makes sense that if Esme had not. Had children, Nicholas would have denounced her crimes as soon as she showed up. But when Esme revealed she was pregnant, Nicholas had to cancel her, her intention. At the moment, Nicholas is feeling that there is too much trouble going on. He wanted to live with his wife, and for that, he wanted to confess on her behalf that he had killed Esme before. Esme is back. That confession no longer makes sense. So he won't let Esme show up. He at least wanted to keep Esme until she gave birth to the baby, and then move her elsewhere for further detention. Nicholas doesn't need the baby while Michael and Willow yearn to have a baby together. Michael is willing to deceive Willow so that he can temporarily ease her suffering, though he knew she would be angry and wouldn't even want to see his face if the truth came out. But he has no choice at this point. What if Willow wakes up and Michael says their baby is dead?